So here I have the chassis for the 1948 Silvertone TV on the bench. One of the things I wanted to determine is if this CRT had bad connections in the... Uh, I couldn't light the filament up when I was at uh, the man's home that uh, the man who gave this set to me. I couldn't light up the filament so I assumed that either the uh, the tube is broken and it went to air. I don't think that's the case or the filament could be open or maybe we just have bad pin connections. But anyways, the base of the uh, tube is quite loose and that's one of the things I wanted to determine. But now that I got the chassis out, I see that this is not the original power transformer. <laughs> and that's an issue. The other issue I see is there are no 5U4 rectifiers and it's supposed to be two. And what that might tells me is there's a chance that this transformer does not have the 5 volt filament supply for 5U4. So I'm expecting that when I get this chassis up on its side and I look underneath it, I may see that they put diodes in. Uh, someone's worked on this set. So this transformer is not original. I don't know if it's going to work right or not. But the first thing I want to determine is what the serial, the CRT is all about. Is it bad? I have another one in the basement. But I'm not so certain I'm going to get that uh, tube out yet. Until I know what this is all about. What's happened here. Here's something else that's interesting. This is a piece of coax going into the set. Now I don't know if that's original or not, but to me I don't think it is. I don't know what they would have had, but somehow I don't think that this coax would be original. Going from the antenna terminal into the set. That's something else I'll have to determine. Maybe it is. I, I don't know. Uh, everything else on it looks pretty much original. It's missing the two rectifier tubes. With It isn't a problem. I just wonder when this transformer was put on and what the results of that was. I wonder if the person who put this transformer on knew that the CRT wasn't going to light up because of uh, this loose base or, or maybe the CRT itself is shot. I wonder if they put diodes in because this transformer doesn't have a 5 volt uh, filament supply for the 5 U4s. Uh, many things to, to, to try to figure out to see what they might have done with this set. And uh, at this point, depending on what I find with this transformer, at this point I'm not sure, I'm really not sure just how restorable this set is. If I see too much wrong, I may put it back together and may just uh, let uh, the person who gave it to me know what I found. He wanted to see me restore it. What I would like to do is put the proper transformer on so that I could put the prop proper rectifier tubes in. Not that diodes is a bad idea. Um, it really isn't. But we'll see. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check out this tube and find out. And by the way, this chassis, <laughs> this thing is heavy. I just I put the chassis for my 19-inch uh, Zenith back in with the tube in it, and I would say that's almost half the weight of this chassis. This thing is really heavy. Well, let's see what that tube is all about. I got the tube filament lit. I couldn't get it uh, to light when I was at the other location. 
when it was at the uh, where I picked it up from, I could not get that tube to light, and I couldn't, of course, get anything on the tester. It was dead. But uh, maybe I'm making good contact with the uh, pins. At any event, uh, I do have action out of the CRT, and uh, if I go to cutoff, I'm at the low end, but within the range of what they say is good. Then emissions go just in the low end of good. So <clears throat> conceivably, I could get a picture on this CRT, but the CRT, of course, is not very good. That isn't an issue with me because primarily I would want to restore the set to where I could demonstrate that it gets a picture. Uh, it's not going to be a watching set, a set that you sit down and watch television on, of course. But I'm not sure how far I'm going to go along with this set because of this power transformer issue. Now, I did slide... I'm going to look underneath it better than that, but I did slide this off and looked underneath, and they did put diodes in. Uh, they have a couple of uh, uh, diodes in. The other thing I noticed is uh, this transformer apparently does not have a 6.3 volt filament supply. So I saw this little tiny transformer underneath <laughs> for all these filaments. So that transformer, if it worked at all, must have been cooking pretty hot to supply uh, uh, 6 volts to, uh, to the whole set, 6.3 volts. So I'm making a judgment call here. Here I've got this very low emissions CRT. Now I do have in the basement in an RCA, I made a video on that one. Uh, it's got a lousy looking cabinet on it, but it's got a fairly decent 10 BP4 tube in it. And it may even have a usable power transformer. Uh, that that one, of course, would have a transformer that supplies the uh, 5 volts for the uh, 5U4 rectifiers. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a determination. I'm not going to go ahead with the restoration on this set at this point. And for the simple reason that it's been worked on, I don't, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the setup on its side somehow and take a look underneath, but to see what else has been done to it. But with that power transformer uh, having been replaced with that transformer, and I could see this little, little bitty uh, filament supply transformer for all of these tubes, I don't know if I want to go ahead with this until I find the right transformer for at least a transformer that gives me the proper B plus voltage, the 6.3 volts for the filaments, and the 5 volts for the rectifier. So I'm not going to, at this point, I'm not going to go ahead with, uh, uh, I'm going to probably pop this back in, in the cabinet. And, and um, as it warms up, the CRT gets a little bit better. But like I say, I'm not so concerned about that. That CRT will at least give me a picture. Um, like the other set that I just worked on. You know, it's not the best picture, but it's it's one that I could demonstrate that the set works, and that's what TV looks, sort of looked like in the 50s. Well, this is 1948. So, uh, I'm going to take this heavy, heavy thing and put it back in the cabinet, I think, and then go on to something else. I had hoped to be able to, to show the uh, person who gave this to me the restoration progress on this. But until I locate, I, I'm, I think I'm going to want to find another transformer for it. I'm going to try to find a power transformer. I, uh, um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go ahead with that, uh, with the way that is. I'm going to find one that actually has a 5 volt supply for the, uh, the rectifier and at least enough 6.3 volts to run all of these tubes. So I think we're going to leave this uh, set go at this point.